my loves good morning it is a saturday morning and i am on my way to see my friend ashley i am going to go on a walk and it's kind of sprinkling a little bit outside on the forecast it says it's like cloudy and it's not raining but it is clearly sprinkling but i'm hoping by the time that i get there it's going to be done before i go and meet up with her i'm going to drop by the dry cleaners real quick and then i'm going to meet her and we're going to get some coffee and go for a walk Hello, I just finished with my walk. It was raining a little bit, but then it finally started to dissipate. Kind of cloudy just right now, which is really, really nice. And I'm so glad I got to see my friend Ashley, get a good coffee. I really am loving, and I have been loving, the Chaga Chinos from Alfred's. It is so good, and I get it with almond milk if you've never had it before and you live in the LA area or an area that has Alfred's. You should definitely try it. It is so yummy. I went to Erwan to pick up a few things and obviously get some lunch for myself today. Today is one of those self-care Saturdays. Not even self-care, but just a day that I have with myself. James is having a guy's day today, so I am basically going to be just home doing some work and um, just things around the apartment and honestly just having a me day. So I just got a few things for that for lunch and then I'm probably going to finish up whatever we have in the fridge for dinner. So I got bread for an avocado toast, probably with a little egg is what I'm thinking i'll make but yeah so that's basically what i'm doing this evening and i thought i would do a little haul with you right now before i get home because honestly the lighting's better so we're gonna do that i got a few things and i obviously love erwan i mean i'm just the typical la girl i hate to say it but i love erwan it's one of my favorite grocery stores and i hate to say it too but it's one of the things that i feel like i would miss the most if i were to ever leave la so the first thing i got is the bread that i would have for tonight and also it's just for the week it's this rye bread and basically it's just a sourdough sourdough bread pretty much this one has very clean and great ingredients organic rye starter which is organic rye flour water organic rye flour organic unbleached wheat flour organic caraway seed and sea salt that is that it's honestly decently priced see the thing is that i feel like a lot of people think erwan is so expensive and it is for certain items but then other items it's actually it's pretty decent i think it's just the way you shop i wouldn't get anything from like i don't really get smoothies from erwan because $16 for a smoothie that I can make better at home that's healthier, I'd rather do that. There's certain things that just are worth it and aren't worth it. And the way I shop there, I feel like I get pretty good deals on everything that I get because everything I get, I'm very mindful about when I shop there. I also got this kombucha because I've never seen this guava cooler and it was on sale. And I, first of all, love Better Booch. It's my favorite kombucha brand, but I've never had the guava cooler flavor. So it's guava, mango, and makrut lime. That sounds really yummy. I love this one because it has better ingredients. I find a little less sugar than the other brands of kombucha. Still love the other ones, but this one is my favorite. I love their ginger flavor, which is in green, and I like their hibiscus one. I like the island hopper one. There's so many different ones that I really enjoy. The next thing that I got are for James because he loves these, and these were also on sale, so I decided to pick these up. They are the Epic Bison Protein Bars, and this one one is in venison and then I got the leather strips because or not leather strips but I got the um what are they called it's called well this one is 100% wild caught salmon smoked salmon maple strip and then this one is a venison strip. What I really like about these is even when I shop for jeans or something, I mean, we go grocery shopping together, but in general, I'm always trying to look for better snacks for him because he honestly, he would eat anything. I mean, he definitely, it's so interesting to see like how in a relationship you both mold to like each other. Like I definitely am the healthier eater, but like he is also pretty healthy. And I think we just, it's just interesting to see like how we've molded. But anyways, I always am just the one who's very, very specific about like ingredients and I know that these are good so I like love to get I love to find healthier snacks for him because he he would just eat anything he's not too picky but this one is venison beef sea salt black pepper
pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and that's it. And the other ones are the same. They're like just a few ingredients, just a few powders, onion powder, garlic powder, celery powder, black pepper, and then the venison. All very good ingredients, so I like to get these as snacks for him. And they're high in protein. That's another thing. With snacks, you always want to get things that are higher in protein if you can or have a good balance between fat and carb or protein and carb because if you just do carbs alone, carbs are not bad at all and I never want to make that a thing. Carbs are very good for you. Like, I just got bread. <laughs> but it's how you pair them to make them a more satisfying filling snack. So having avocado toast, which is bread and avocado, or having it with nut butter or something like that, it makes it more filling. That's just kind of how I like to focus on eating because I would hate to eat things and then be hungry like an hour later, you know? So that's why I like to find snacks like that. So this is good. For a dessert today, I've never had these before and I really wanted to try them and I was actually also very surprised with the ingredients. So these are the 100% plant-based Dream Pops. They're chocolate covered frozen dessert mint chip bites. And what's really great is that they're 90 calories per serving and there's three servings in here. The whole jar itself is 270 calories. I don't always look at calories, but I just thought I would mention that it's not like an ice cream where it's like 500 to 1,000 calories in a whole thing. Anywho, the sugars, it's not too much sugar and the ingredients are very clean. So it's just coconut milk, vegan chocolate, organic coconut sugar, spirulina powder, and mint extract. Great. I'm really excited to try this today. And the last two things are the things I'm gonna eat for lunch. I love to mix, I'm a big mixer. I got, this is one of my favorite things from Erewhon. It is the, the curry chicken salad. It's so yummy. It has chicken in it, apple, golden raisins, the chicken curry salad, I love it. And this one is the whole thing and it's very filling is $11 for this. So that's why I'm telling you, you gotta buy the right things, okay? And then this one is $8 and a little less than that. But this one's just their antioxidant salad and this one has kale, arugula, blueberries, walnuts, and then it has virgin olive oil, lemon juice, hemp seed, sea salt, organic black pepper. I also like getting things like this too because it gives you all of the ingredients. I mean, it should like any grocery store. What's great is these are things that you can also pick up like this, or you can just make these at home. That's what I love to do with Erewhon is a lot of times I will get something to try it and try to recreate it at home because obviously that is more cost effective. But anywho, I really love Erewhon and I want to get home before these dream pops melt but that is all i wanted to share for this food shop today done I went for a little French nail and I got pink toes I just quickly wanted to share one of my favorite actually two of my favorite must-have items for when I get my nails done and that is the first thing is gloves or like nail gloves for the UV light I think it's so important to protect your hands when you get manicures especially if you get them often because the UV light it's not that healthy for your nails or no, not even your nails I'm sorry for your hands and so if you want a little anti-aging tip these will definitely help you you can also use these as driving gloves as well i should do that um maybe i'll start doing that but yeah they are truly my favorite thing and they're not very expensive on amazon like i really think they're like seven dollars which is a steal and the other thing that i always do when i go get my nails done is i i love having a book to read while i get my nails done i've done the podcasts i've listened to music and i really find that i get a lot of reading done when i bring a book so i definitely just try to do that more often this one's from the library this one's called emma by jane austen i really love classic books and i thought for spring this would be a really good read so i am like a quarter way through so i'm still seeing what i think about this before I recommend it but what I do recommend is just go into your library guys like I love the library I just really think that sometimes you don't want to buy a ton of books because also like when there's books that you just read once I just feel like it goes to waste so going to the library to get some books to read is the biggest biggest hack that I have for getting back into reading and just reading a lot of different kind of books so yeah love that I am very hungry to go home and I'm gonna cook dinner and just hang out with James
Broccoli is done. We're waiting for sweet potatoes. Oh my gosh, they look so yummy. We have 23 minutes left on that one. And right now I'm drinking my Chinese herbs that I take from my acupuncturist. So sipping on that. And then right before we're about to eat, I'm gonna heat up these Peruvian lentils. I found these in the grocery store. And first of all, what caught my eye was Peruvian lentils. And second of all, I just thought this was like the easiest thing ever. And the ingredients are very, very good. And I'm very surprised because normally I don't like to do packaged goods as much. Like I would probably make my own lentils, but because the ingredients are so good, I was like, I use this and try it out and see how good it is. It is not even 7 a.m. It's 6.59, waiting for the clock to change. I just pulled up to a neighborhood that I really love to walk in. I really wanted to get a nice morning walk. I woke up and I was kind of feeling, not gonna lie, I was feeling a little moody. And I immediately did some meditating and now I'm gonna go on a walk because one of the things that I know that makes me the happiest person is neighborhood walks and just being outside and especially Actually enjoying my mornings today I have the day off so I really want to use this day to my advantage as much as possible get this walk in I want to go to my parents house to do some filming and then also do some work I have some stuff that I want to do for the blog I just put out a new blog post yesterday so if you have not seen it already it's traits of a high-value woman I will link it down below but mostly I just want to create content around that for TikTok, Instagram and stuff like that so I really want to just be on my game today and just be my best self so part of that is you just have to switch the mentality it's like as soon as you're like moody or like you're not feeling your best you want to get back into your comfort zone and just like stay there and whatever you got to snap out of it you got to find a way to snap out of it you got to push through and one you could do something that makes you happy like right now I have the time to go on a walk or two if it's like in the middle of the work day and you just like don't want to do something you just got to do it you just I don't know what it's gonna take but you just have to sit down and do the work that you're wanting to postpone so that is literally the biggest tip and it is such a simple one but it works I'm gonna go on my walk and enjoy the morning and I'll see you guys in a little bit <laughs> at my parents house and I just got done with all the filming that I really needed to do I filmed a lot for TikTok and honestly just content that I can recreate in other apps as well which is great but yeah I'm just really proud of myself because I really got everything I needed to do exactly by one o'clock which is what I aimed for like that was my goal and literally I just stopped filming at one o'clock and I'm very hungry so I'm gonna make myself some lunch I actually brought Indian food that I got from the grocery store and I half of it on Monday and I saved half brought it today so I'm gonna heat that up on the stove have that kind of relax for a bit and then I'm gonna go back into working because I have a lot of stuff that I really want to get done today <laughs> running some errands james and i quickly went to ralph's to pick up a few things for easter on sunday and then because i posted about chick-fil-a in a q a james was craving chick-fil-a so we got chick-fil-a for dinner tonight and we're having a really nice early dinner on a friday night and we're about to put on a movie we're currently picking one my go-to meal is the eight piece chicken nugget meal and then i always get fries and then for sauces i've been really into honey mustard recently so have that and then of course chick-fil-a sauce 